Chash Jet Surf Titanium DFI Sky. The Titanium DFI has made waves in the market as the lightest motorized surfboard available, weighing just 11.3 kilograms. This makes it significantly lighter than its competitors, which typically weigh around 18 kilograms. Its compact design, measuring 180 centimeters in length, allows it to fit easily into most car trunks. But don't be fooled by its small size, this is far from a mere toy. Equipped with a powerful and reliable 100cc two-stroke gasoline engine, the DFI delivers an impressive 15 horsepower. With a top speed of 62 kilometers per hour, the ride is both thrilling and exhilarating. Even if you don't reach the max speed, the sheer excitement of the experience makes it worthwhile. Priced at $14,360, this high-performance surfboard is a significant investment, but for adrenaline seekers, it might just be worth every penny. Seabob Electric Water Sled For diving enthusiasts, Seabob underwater scooters feel like a dream come true. The standard F5 SR model is fully electric, capable of diving to depths of 40 meters and reaching speeds of up to 22 kilometers per hour. Maneuvering is intuitive. Simply shift your body weight to dive, surface, or turn. If you enjoy underwater exploration, you'll appreciate its safety features, including depth limits and time restriction options. A fully charged F5 SR battery provides around 70 minutes of operation. Designed to handle saltwater conditions, it also comes equipped with two built-in cameras, one for capturing stunning underwater scenes and another for selfies. With a price tag of $29,500, this high-tech scooter is an exciting, albeit costly, way to explore the ocean. Although the Icelandic company Rafnar only launched its first vessel in 2015, it quickly captured the attention of buyers and the media. One key reason for this is its groundbreaking UR hull technology. Boats designed with this innovation experience 95% less impact than traditional hulls, ensuring a smoother, more stable ride. This significantly reduces the risk of injuries and seasickness. Another standout feature is the ability of Rafnar's vessels to self-right instantly if they capsize a capability showcased in the Rafnar 1100. This model is powered by three engines, producing a combined 1,150 horsepower and enabling speeds of up to 93 kilometers per hour. With space for 12 passengers, it's ideal for fishing trips in rough waters or even search and rescue missions. Christie Hovercraft. For over two decades, Christie Hovercraft has been at the forefront of hovercraft manufacturing, earning a reputation for high-performance designs used worldwide from the U.S. to New Zealand. Take the Christie 6146, for example. It features a primary engine with 120 horsepower and a secondary lift engine, generating 26 horsepower. This allows it to glide at speeds of up to 60 km per hour over snow and transport passengers and cargo even in extreme temperatures as low as minus 35 degrees Celsius. The enclosed cabin accommodates up to six passengers, but payload capacity varies 1,500 kilograms on land, dropping dropping to 550 kilos on water. Despite this limitation, Christy Hovercraft recommends the 6146 for fishing, hunting, and rescue operations. With an estimated price of $34,000, it's an investment built for adventure. Sea Dew Switch. If you're eager to spend time on the water without stretching your budget too far, the Sea Dew Switch is worth considering. This modern pontoon boat starts at $23,800 and is highly praised for its versatility. Whether you're planning a solo fishing trip, a family outing, or a spontaneous adventure with friends, the Switch adapts to your needs. Available in lengths ranging from 4 to 5.8 meters, it can accommodate between 5 and 10 passengers. It comes with a trailer and a modular deck, allowing for customizable layouts. One of its most attractive features is its built-in engine, similar to those found in Sea Dew jet skis, eliminating the need for an outboard motor. Even the base model packs a solid 130 horsepower, ensuring a fun and dynamic ride. Wave Boat 777. Jet skis are becoming increasingly powerful, and since the pandemic, the demand for yachts and boats has surged, especially in the US. The Waveboat 777 combines the best of both worlds. This unique vessel features a special docking space for a jet ski, which can be secured with a strap and then used to steer the boat. With a 300 horsepower jet ski attached, the Waveboat 777 can reach speeds of up to 83 km per hour, delivering an exhilarating ride for up to 10 passengers. Comfort hasn't been overlooked. Some configurations include a shower, 
a premium sound system, and even a refrigerator. However, be prepared for a hefty price tag, $49,700. Keep in mind that the jet ski is sold separately. Connor K3 Amphibious. The Connor K3 Amphibious isn't just an engineering achievement, it's a game changer. Unlike traditional helicopters, it can land on water, float, and even move using water jets. While its top speed on water is just 15 kilometers per hour, this capability is invaluable for rescue missions. After a water landing, the K3 can take off again with ease, thanks to its dual engine setup, a 250 horsepower gas turbine, and a 90 horsepower electric engine. The electric motor kicks in at lower altitudes when power is low, giving pilots extra control. Uh, another standout feature is its GPS lock, which allows the helicopter to remain stationary at set coordinates while floating on water. Our Old Town Sportsman Big Water EPDL Plus 132. The Old Town Sportsman Big Water EPDL Plus 132 is more than just a kayak. It's a powerhouse of features. Designed with anglers in mind, it's a pedal-powered kayak equipped with an electric drive, giving users an advantage when searching for the perfect fishing spot. In tests, it reached speeds of 11 kilometers per hour, making it ideal for trolling without exhausting the paddler. Its V-shaped hull is tough enough for ocean fishing, providing exceptional stability. With a weight capacity of 227 kilograms, there's ample room for gear and even large catches like a green sturgeon. Priced at $5,500, this high-tech kayak is built for serious anglers. Stabix 250SC. The Stabi X 250SC boat lives up to its slogan, from here to there. What sets this vessel apart? It's designed to operate both on land and in water. On land, it runs on a dedicated 40 horsepower engine. Once in the water, more powerful motors take over, offering up to 450 horsepower. Whether navigating beaches, shallow waters, or open seas, it ensures precise control. The cabin provides sleeping quarters for added comfort, and the boat accommodates up to seven passengers. Optional upgrades include a trolling motor, solar panels, and even a built-in toilet. However, luxury comes at a price. The estimated cost is a hefty $450,000. Weta Trimorans, fast, fun, and easy. That's the motto of Weta, a company making waves in the sailing world. The story began when a father and son duo, frustrated by the lack of trimorans designed for enjoyable learning, decided to create their own. Today, Weta's trimorans are used in 24 countries. Designed for beginner sailors, this model reaches speeds of 37 kilometers per hour and remains comfortable even in strong winds. Assembly is quick, taking just 20 minutes. The 4.4 meter version costs $17,800 and comes with three sails and a trolley for easy transport. Let me know if you'd like any modifications. Flight scooter, a simplified version with a handlebar similar to an electric scooter. The speed is controlled by a thumb throttle, handlebar, and balancing is so effortless that most people can master it within minutes. It's even recommended for resorts as a, an exciting activity for guests. The flight scooter runs on electricity and offers two battery options, providing either 90 or 150 minutes of ride time. For added safety, it features a Bluetooth key that automatically shuts off the board if the rider falls into the water. Of course, all this advanced technology comes at a price. Expect to pay at least $14,300. Candela P-12 Sweden has crafted something truly remarkable with the Candela P-12 water taxi. Even Saudi Arabia has purchased one, and it's easy to see why. Thanks to its hydrofoil design, the P-12 glides smoothly over the water at a cruising speed of 46 kilometers per hour. It can travel up to 74 kilometers on a single charge and recharge from 10% to 85% in just 45 minutes. Designed as an urban transport solution, the Candela P12 makes perfect sense for commuters stuck in traffic. It's also cost-effective, with operating expenses per kilometer being 56% lower than those of a diesel ferry. The taxi accommodates 30 passengers, including space for wheelchairs and bicycles, and requires only one operator. Hashkra. Mackay M37. While some people hail a water taxi, others step onto the Mackay M37, provided they have $873,000 to spare. Though the manufacturer calls it a catamaran, this vessel offers 11 meters of pure luxury. Designed by Italian automotive stylist Emmanuel Rossi, the M37 boasts a sleek and elegant aesthetic. As your guests capture selfies, it's time to power up the engines. The standard setup features two Yanmar diesel engines delivering either 640 or 740 horsepower. 
Once aboard, your biggest challenge will be deciding which 12 people get to join you on this floating limousine. Iozeans, Iozeans is making waves in the world of water bikes, and its standout feature is its user-friendly assembly. The design resembles a stationary bike mounted on a floating frame, making setup simple, even for those who struggle with heavy lifting. This water bike can accommodate two people and even a small dog, while the captain pedals passengers can relax on a special platform shaded by an umbrella. For those in a competitive mood, grab a, a second Iozeans and challenge your friends to a race. Seacart 335. Seacart is making a splash in the water sports market with its hybrid vehicles, blending the best aspects of jet skis and inflatable boats. These compact, high-performance crafts are easy to handle and appeal to a wide range of buyers. Take the Seacart 335, for example, perfect as a primary watercraft or as a tender for larger yachts. This hybrid can carry five people and, depending on the engine option, reach speeds of, of up to 105 kilometers per hour thanks to its jet propulsion system. It's also ideal for wakeboarding and water skiing. Unlike traditional jet skis, the Seacart 335 offers greater comfort, uh, making it perfect for extended rides. Jetfish. Yamaha is a well-known name in the jet ski industry, but did you know they created a model specifically for fishing? Meet the WaveRunner FX Jetfish, designed with an extended rear platform, rod holders, built-in GPS, and a Garmin fish finder. All standard features. It even includes a 45-liter storage box for your catch. For 2025, Yamaha has introduced a unique new paint job and upgraded the model with a 1.9-liter four-stroke engine, ensuring smoother acceleration. However, these enhancements come at a price. The WaveRunner FX Jetfish now carries a recommended price tag of $118,600. Thunder Child 2 Safe Haven Marine is renowned for its ultra-seaworthy boats, and their passion for innovation led to the creation of the Thunder Child 2. Designed to accommodate 10 people, this vessel was built with one ambitious goal in mind, to cross the Atlantic from Canada to Ireland, a 3900 kilometer journey. The Thunder Child 2 stands out with its unique hull design, transitioning from a V-shape at the bow to asymmetrical catamaran hulls at the stern, with hydrofoil wings in between. Powered by four 640-horsepower engines, it reaches speeds of up to 100 km per hour. At a cruising speed of 22 km per hour, its fuel reserve can last for over 1,600 km. Water Tricycle Now let's wrap up with a fun and nostalgic ride. Water tricycles. These large-wheeled models typically cost around $11,000 and are perfect for both personal enjoyment and business ventures, targeting tourists. Many manufacturers modify their bikes for seawater use, making them a great attraction for coastal resorts. Although they won't set any speed records, maxing out at about 6 km per hour, water tricycles offer plenty of time to enjoy the scenery, snap selfies, or even record a video. There are also tandem models available with built-in canopies for added comfort. Would you prefer one of these over a traditional bicycle? This version enhances readability, refines the flow, and removes awkward phrasing while maintaining all key details. Let me know if you'd like any adjustments. That's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.